guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution and I'm here to bring you a weekly message for anyone who is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Guys, if you're a fire sign, this is for March 2nd through to March 8th, 2020. Keep in mind, however, time is fluid. I put a date on it, but if you're encountering this before or after this week, it's okay. It still may resonate. Take what you feel is for you on a soul level. Disregard, toss the rest. Go about today, my friends. But know that no matter what, again, these cards or the spirit has to offer, it's up to you and how you integrate this guidance, the choices you make, the steps you take, your grassroots evolution, what you can do with your active free will, okay, and the changes that you allow into your worlds. So if this resonates, Please feel free, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Please feel free to hit subscribe, join the journey with me. And for all my subscribers, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here. It truly means the world that you are. So I'm going to jump in and ask Archangel Michael to come with us, to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, to use me as the clearest channel, and to deliver only messages for the highest good of you guys watching. And I do suggest if you are calling in your angels or guides into your life, ask the same. You only want messages for your highest good, right? I'm going to ask Archangel Metatron as well and my team of light to join me. So we're going to start off quickly with a message here from the Healing with the Angels Oracle and this is by Doreen Virtue. I've had these cards since I was, I don't know for sure if it's 13 or 16, but it's been quite a few years and I really, really love them. They're a little bit beat up, they're a little bit rough, but they still do the trick. Thank you. So you get two. You have truth and integrity and you have miracles that over the this next week, whenever you encounter this energy, to really, really pay attention to the miracles in your life. To know that when you believe, when you put positive energy out into the world, miracles come to you, but they may not look like you, you envision. Okay, so keep an open mind and an open heart and be willing to accept, again, the way that the universe brings changes to us, but that a lot of times the change that is brought to us is miraculous. That some of the things that we, we encounter in our worlds, the things that make us stronger, the truths that we're willing to reveal, the truths that we're willing to see, the ways that we're al we allow ourselves to live and to live in our truth and our authenticity, this brings miracles in nothing more than maybe you shed a skin. Maybe you drop a burden. Maybe you allow the truth of, you know, your own divinity. You allow the truth of situations that are going on around you to heal miraculously. I'm going to ask one more message. Thank you. And this is quick. Playfulness. There is so much healing in when we allow ourselves to be playful. Run around with your kids. Dance to music that you like. Make stupid, silly jokes. Whatever it is that cracks you up. Do something that brings out the playful, artistic self. So you may just want to mess around painting, drawing. You may want to write. But you may also want to do something that really, really feeds your soul and nourishes your soul on that fire level. Okay? This, this is an action-orientated thing. If you look at these, they almost look like they're free-falling, but they're enjoying the process, bringing smiles and laughs to their faces so really embracing the truth of who you are having fun with that though too you know that we don't have to be so serious all the time and they want me to show you at the bottom of the deck you get divine timing and soulmate relationship the more you and self-acceptance the more you accept I'm going to answer prayers on the bottom Okay. The more we accept ourselves wholly and truly, the more we accept our own truths, our own desires, the more we see in our world where maybe it's lacking joy and playfulness, the more we give ourselves permission to go out and just be who we are and accept that fully, the more you're going to bring in people of like-mindedness. You're going to bring in energy and situations that will match you so this is one of these things rather than if you are waiting for partnership be you in the process and have fun so that you are also with the law of attraction what you're putting out 
You're attracting to you. Act as the magnet for what you would like to see your world doing. And another thing that I get with this is potentially if you're if you go out to the movies with your friends if you go out dancing you know if there is um, you know a workout class or anything that you are drawn to join if it's a social activity there may be times where you do meet these soulmate relationships they don't have to be romantic they can be friendships but just someone on a soul level that you will bond with so the more vibrancy that we release into the world the more we attract that to us and what I'm hearing is radiant you guys are awesome radiate your wonderfulness radiate it with truth on who you are be playful be passionate and you know there's times where we can't, we don't want to do that every day maybe that's fine everything in doses everything in small doses but I feel like Divine timing is something to remind you that the more you accept your own truth, the more you don't have to look for um, the opportunities that are for you because they will come. It all comes in divine timing. When we're the people we're supposed to be to be able to deal with the lessons that we have in front of us or to be able to, if this is a romantic partnership or a friendship, to be able to 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 do this properly is one of the words and ways I'm going to put it, but to, I'm going to bring a romance angel in for you guys just because the soulmate showed up here and right away two things popped over. My cards flew out. It is safe for you to love and very soon. To clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There's one more card that fell out upside down. Um, it was unrequited love, but it is this way. So, I feel like it landed on top of divine timing and soulmate. If there's been past situations in love where you've had your heart broken, you've been let down, or you felt disappointed because your affection, or again, this could be vice versa, wasn't received the way that you wanted it to, and you felt like, you know, you've missed a soulmate relationship spirit what I feel like is saying is like everything in divine timing that relationship or whatever unrequited love you may have felt that kind of thing is um, a lesson for you to see for yourself on first off if 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 that situation didn't work it was not for my highest good what was the lesson that I could take from that and I think spirits wanting us to remind ourselves as well that everything that is meant to be in this world will be so it's all in divine timing just because something has went away does not mean that it may come back around but rather than pining and waiting for this get out and have fun and enjoy yourself don't allow the the past and past failures or past disappointments to stop your joy now so figure out what you want clearly Figure out who you are, what kind of energy you want to attract in. And once we figure that out, it will come to you with the law of attraction and know that it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love yourself. It is safe for you to love others. And sometimes it's really difficult, right, to try not to hold attachment to how others are going to feel about us. But knowing again that if we have attachments to others that don't share the same feelings, it's okay to let that go and just trust that the universe is going to bring you the people and the places and the things and the experiences that you are meant to experience when you are meant to experience them. And maybe you still have to become who you are to attract in this kind of soulmate relationship. I'm going to pull one more card from the, the deck and just ask one more message here for anyone. Thank you resonated and we have healing family issues so this again could be you got trust at the bottom as well that the situation is calling for you to have trust so trusting in the universe trusting in maybe even this person if there has been um, issues if this is someone coming back into your life if there's been situations with unrequited love in the past trusting that it's okay to love now that the past is the past um, it says there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going and then we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents 
on this healing journey, we encounter so many different energies. We're constantly, um, it's like an ebb and flow of healing, right? It's seeing places in our world where awareness needs to be brought. And a lot of times, um, the, the inner child that needs healing, we, we bring these issues or emotions that we've pent up and we project them onto relationships. We bring them into relationship. And here's where what I'm hearing is be playful, expect miracles, do the healing work. This could also be with someone else, but know that it's safe to love. You are absolutely loved, my friends. Don't accept any other untruth that says you're not loved. See to the truth of it. Know that spirit loves you. Know that, you know, parents love you if that's something as well. That I love you and that it's okay to be seen. Please show yourself in your truth and your glory and your authenticity. That it's safe for you to love. It's safe to be seen. And if there are people who see you in your truth and they don't like you, that's fine. They're not for you. Okay? Show yourself in your truth. Know that... And trust that whatever is meant for you in this lifetime will definitely come. It's situation is calling for you to have trust and faith. And that life's not all about the soulmate relationships that we have. As beautiful as this is, this energy coming to you, you know, if you were asking about a love situation, get it clear within your head on what you want. Work through what you need to work through so that you are ready for this kind of relationship. They're asking me to bring a message from the uh, is John Holland Psychic Tarot Oracle. So we have one. Obstacles and challenges. And I feel like if potentially if this is resonating and it could be dealing with a person from your past that you have already experienced something with and healing is coming, some of the healing that is the obstacle. What is in between? What's the obstacle? If we can pinpoint what the obstacle is, where the healing needs to be brought, we're going to expedite the process. And it's a five. So bringing change. And a lot of times as well, what I'm hearing is there's probably an emotion attached to the situation at large. And that's kind of what we need to work through is the emotional attachment to whatever has happened, whatever healing needs to come, regardless of whether it's your parents with that healing family issues, if it's a family situation within yourself and your own parenting, if it is just even again with this soulmate relationship with this person that if we can get to the obstacle and see to the emotion behind it, clear things up, work through this in ourselves as well, you're going to um, bring this in a lot faster. Wow. We have material harvest. Things coming to you in this route. Victory and success. I just shot snot out my nose. Sorry, guys, because we also have spiritual union. And they're showing me the bottom of the romance angels is worth waiting for past life relationship you have wedding here too oh my gosh reconciliation forgiving and learning last one stay optimistic about your relationships and your love life this kind of relationship this kind of bond is going to require a lot of work from you but it does not need to be all seriousness, playing, being playful, and expressing your joy with each other. I am going to bring a message from the um, zombie tarot before I close out with you. And if I get cut off, guys, I apologize. But the message I get is the Nine of Swords, that this may have been a struggle. And it may have been a struggle with this person to even bring forgiveness, to allow things to end, to allow things to change. Tell them, thank you. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And a bunch here I'm going to put back. What I'm feeling is that, you know, this Knight of Swords, he doesn't care what he says. He doesn't care how he gets to do what he wants. He just barrels them, mows them over. This in the reverse is like, you know, maybe we've had hardships because in the past communication has not been the greatest, it has not been the nicest, and both individuals were healing. Um, let's see here, tell me more about how, how do we fix the Knight of Swords? How do we communicate? 
about this because I feel like communication may be the barrier. And a bunch dropped out. One card, please. Thank you. Get two. Get the Page of Swords. Allowing transformation. Maybe going cautiously at first, but really with the chariot, allowing movement. This could represent a cancer as well, but what I feel like is like if if we're afraid, don't go too quick. Small baby steps, you know, maybe a little bit guarded at first, but making sure that we're moving beyond the main issues. And at the bottom, you have the Four of Cups and the world. Releasing the stagnation, getting grounded and secure within yourself and your relationships, having those talks. One last message from the Whispers of Love before I close it out. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it, making sure that we're, and then the bottom I got here, turn your heart light on. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you've experienced love. Come back to love with whoever this person is. Love yourself and, you know, showing this out affectionately as well. If we're having these discussions, we need to also have our actions match our words. So that's what I've got for you guys. I love you all. I hope you guys have a great week and you guys take care. Bye now.